Hello everyone, welcome to our Kuvox T-Series IPPBX tutorial. In this episode, I will mainly introduce how to register the IP phone to IPPBX and some key configurations on the IP extension page. On the IP extensions page, users can add or delete IP extensions and edit the profiles and features of each extension. Many of the key features need to be configured on this page, such as web login, WebRTC, remote extension, app extension, and so on. Next, I will show you how to set it up. First, let me demonstrate how to register an IP phone to our IPPBX. Use the admin account to log into the IPPBX's management address. Then go to the telephony extensions IP extensions. Click the Add button in the upper left corner to add a specific extension. First, give it a designated extension number such as 100, and then enter a name and the password Zyko. Then save the settings and log into the management address of the IP phone on the browser. Go to Line SIP and set the username and authentication user as the extension number 100 and set the same password as well. Then set the server address as the IPPBX's management address. Click the active button and check the line status should be registered. After the registration is completed, let us go back to the IP extension page to find out the rest of the settings in the profile option. Mobile number is used to note the mobile contact information of this extension. Dial permission is used to limit whether the user can dial some specific numbers or not. Language represents the language of the system prompt tone. Outbound CID is to use this number as the caller ID number when making an outbound call through VOIP or digital trunk lines. Music on hold means that when the call is on hold, the system will play the music in this folder. Email is used to receive system emails such as voice message reminders. Click Submit to save these settings. Next, you can click on the Features bar to set features. Voicemail, if the voicemail setting is enabled, the caller will be allowed to enter the voicemail box to leave a message when the extension is busy or no answer. Remote extension, if the remote extension setting is enabled, the user can remotely register the extension number. It should be noted that, for security reasons, this option cannot be enabled when the password is weak. Video call, if this setting is enabled, the video phone will display the video screen. WebRTC, after WebRTC is enabled, users can log in to make or receive calls through the web. What needs to be mentioned is that you need to enable the web login feature first. Call Spy affects whether the phone can be monitored during a call. App extension will affect KuCall soft phone app registrations opening or closing. Web login, after the web login is enabled. The extension user can log into the extension web by entering the extension number and password in the management address. In the extension web, users can view call records, view contact lists, and send faxes. Next, on the right side, you can set the password for the voicemail. The extension user needs to enter the password when dialing the feature code to enter the voicemail. Numbers of simultaneous registrations can limit that an extension number can be registered and used on how many endpoints at the same time. Video codecs, only if two extensions with video call enabled use the same video codec can they establish a video call. Call recording can choose the recording mode of the extension such as only recording the incoming calls. Registration expiration can change the default registration expiration time of the endpoints. Default is 1800 seconds. Whitelist means that after setting the whitelist policy for incoming or outgoing calls, you can let the extension implement the specified whitelist policy.
pickup group if several extensions are set under the same pickup group when a certain extension is ringing but no one answers. Other member extensions in the group can use the pickup feature to help him answer this call. Click Submit to save these settings. In the above options, you can also choose Bulk Add and Bulk Edit. Import and Export can be used as a backup. And the QR code on this page contains the information of the corresponding extensions which can be scanned when the KuCall app user runs for the first time to quickly complete the automatic registration of the mobile extension. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please send them to our email. See you next time.